So this is a more traditional bee box that I'm doing. And uh, I've tied it together with uh, Velcro. And that's just loose. And then these, I routed 5 sixteenths of an inch deep with a 5 sixteenths round over bit. Um, yeah, I could, I didn't go 5 sixteenths. I did 5 30 seconds, I guess, halfway day deep. So that when the two line up, you end up with 5 sixteenths holes. And uh, I don't know about lighting. And that one looks pretty off, but they're pretty good. And then to keep them from sliding around, hmm, you can see I've got two dowels here with a space in the middle. And that space is for this dowel. So when it goes together, it can't slide either back and forth or left and right because it's keyed in and I did that on every one and I wish I'd gone a little deeper with my routes because you can see it's not real tight but I think it's tight enough anyway so I can go as high as I want with these see the two and the one and then wrap it up with the Velcro strip. Yeah. Just a moment while I do this. It's a two-handed operation. And now it's Velcroed. <laughs> and then I have this box that I built Boy, the lighting is terrible. I thought it would be good here. Um, I've got actually a little lip right here. It's kind of a ramp going up and then it drops off. And that's so that these will push all the way to the back and give a back to the unit because I didn't close off the holes on the back. But you'll see that middle row is completely occupied with my alignment pins. And shove this in here one-handed. And I gotta get it all the way back in there. And it does go. It's just a matter of you need a second hand. Okay, so there it is. And I can put like a little box of bee cocoons up top there. And uh, anyways, screw it to a tree or hang it from my apple tree. That's the plan.